has been the journey so far. The drench fort was dry, but the horsemen loosed its waters, and then the makers rejoiced. With her forge burned anew. From its fires they made a key, one which could awaken stone. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Darksiders 2. Well, and as you saw, the uh, narrator already recapped what we did last time. We did two dungeons, and we got the Maker's Key. And now that we have done that, we can do a few uh, side missions. We should go over here, press Y, so that up all the, uh, the side quests that we picked up throughout the game, the main quest, side quests, everything. Give that to skip right the Oh, right now I can actually can do uh, this one. Let's mark that one. Uh, there's another item strong enough to I can face off. Oh, with one of the uh, the buses uh, that uh, the maker wanted me to fight. Now, um, since this is on easy mode, I can easily face off with this bus after doing the first dungeon, uh, the cauldron. Uh, but if this is on, no if I was doing this on normal mode. I was just waiting until after you get the maker's key before you face off with him. <coughs> because uh, he's pretty tough. He's a lot tougher than you think he is. Indeed there is. There, there. Sorry, I had a, a bit of a tickle on my throat. And when those sound kind of does not believe us because it's just my sinuses again. It doesn't like this cold weather. I will turn my heaters on, but I don't know if they turn the heat on. I tried uh, turning the heater on uh, a few weeks ago, but nothing came out of the heaters. So I assume that they haven't turned the heat on yet. Which I don't see why they should have, but okay. Well, at the same time, I wasn't really worried because I live on the third floor and you guys know, the heat rises. So. I just assumed that someone on the lower floor to me would turn on their door. But I don't think they have, so. I'm gonna try to see if. Uh, get my hair to work. There's, there's a landing down here. Is there something down here? There's a chest. The few chests. The chest over there and there's a chest over there. But I cannot get them at this moment. Oh, that means I have to go for this one. Because I can't climb back up. Because it didn't give you the ability to. Hmm, I there's something in this photo. Anyway. 
Yeah, we gotta find the key to that locked yeah. door. Because yeah, that locked door leads to the uh, bus. Now, the first time I actually played this game, I got really confused. Because the fact that the marker is right there. Right underneath where the bridge is. So I got really confused. I did not know where he was at. I was like, huh? I eventually, after wandering around this place, I figured out where it was. Because the marker is right there, it gets, it's very confusing. At first. Why can you always get a bug me while I'm recording? <laughs> Alright, this is a little tricky. Now, what you have to do is stand on this pad here and raise that platform. But as soon as you get off of it, it goes back down. So you can quickly climb up it and then come up the other one before it goes down too far, which I failed to do. with your trollers.
<laughs> Maybe I should have done a, like a practice round before I started the fight. Get my head back into the game, but whatever. Apparently, some people find other people's mistakes uh, humorous. Possible. Anyway, let's head this way. This is the way we need to go. The sub bus over here. First of four. down really fast in the first couple of steps. he got the upper hand of me and at the beginning there I managed to beat him and I get this weapon. Go ahead give that read. I think I picked up a few things. Oh, that was from the last boss I fought. Okay. Level 10. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's a long ways away. Alright, let's see if I can uh, power up my weapon. Let's see, strength, defense, critical hit, wrath, and critical. Uh, I'm gonna go with strength. Ooh, piercing damage. Piercing damage is good because uh, uh, piercing damage is basically allows you to pierce through the opponent's armor. It's always a good thing. Oh, right. 
if I'm changing it at the market. Uh, if I did that. Um, a silent stone. Now, I'm actually going to do this one right here. A silent stone. Because while we were out, uh, heading away to open uh, the tears of the mountain. Uh, we came across a, a more of those uh, gate guardian looking statue there, which is called the Warden. Uh, they have, uh, seem to have fallen apart in the end of the limbs. And I pointed out those strange stone like limb things. Those are his limbs. <laughs> uh, they wandered off somehow, which is really weird. You would think a statue's limbs would wander off. But whatever. <gasps> well, there, see, I knew there was something in this water. Just didn't see it at first. Another boatman coin. Ooh, two more and I can get me uh, a legendary weapon. I have to have the right amount of money, girls, but... But you need 20 boatman coins in order to get one of the legendary weapons from Valcom. Money, on the other hand, is not an issue. The boatman coins I found a lot harder to find than money. You can get money everywhere. But the boatman coins, even though they're scattered everywhere, they're just harder to find. In my opinion. It's just not really harder to find, more like harder to see. Because they're small. And some of them you notice like right away, like because they also kind of shiny. But of course, you can also look online and uh, you can find uh, probably find their locations online, like some website somewhere. I don't know. I never looked. The only thing I was actually focusing on is how to play the game, uh, not how to play the game, but how to do the quests and stuff. Like if we get stuck on a quest, so I was like, okay, how do we do this quest? I'm actually currently playing a game, which I played a demo version of it back on the PlayStation 2. And my mom had a demo version of it. And, um, I, in the demo version, it was just like the beginning part. But it's not true for all demos, apparently. Anyway, uh, so I'm like really stuck at one part. I'm trying to fight the boss, but he keeps killing me in one hit. So I'm like, what in the world? Thanks a lot, just not going off of my horse. Just because I actually went the wrong way. I got distracted by talking. And I got punished for it. But anyway, the game is called uh, zone of the Enders. I think that's what it's called. I get it as a free game through Xbox Live. So. A couple of months ago, I just haven't played it till now. Oh, my God. 
disturbs my sleep. <clears throat> a fleshling in the forge, lads. You have the look of neither angel nor demon. When last I wrote, they were the children of creation. They're your kind. I do not recognize. How long have you been sleeping? How long? That I do not know. But I seem to be half my normal stature. The construct sleep, the stone wonders. Perhaps you might find my way with self and return it to me. How can I do that? Take this and piece of me to awaken the old stone and remind it of life. What should I call you? All I is what I was called in flesh, but in stone, I have no name. Oran's Hearthstone Fragment. Uh, I believe I just leveled up. Indeed I did. Oh, I finished off Harvest, and I... Oh, I just had to knock the... Uh, the crows. Uh, this is called murder. Yeah, murder. Uh, which is a flock of crows. I always got that one because I was found it more useful than the ghouls. Because uh, what would you choose? Uh, two ghouls or a flock of birds? Uh, but I'm actually gonna use both. I I said that after I got harvest, I would uh, unlock. The ghouls, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm actually gonna use both the ghouls and the birds, so I'm not gonna use any of the boosts because I find them no waste of time. That you can only uh, have four abilities at once because there's just only four spots, so. But it two witches on. Two witches on. I think it happened there happened to be uh two of his limbs on this side of the forge lands and the other two on the other side. And we've only seen a couple of his limbs already. One up here. And then there was one as we entered the area. There's a foot. Right leg. I was about to say it looked like a right leg. Once you put the, after you uh, acquire those lumps, or at least get them to come back to him, you have to go back to him and put him back together. <laughs> and then he has a, a little quest for you. Now I have a hunch that that, uh, that uh, warden is this guy's master. This is the one that's sitting up here. Then that's who he's been waiting for all this time. <laughs> uh, and if that guy, that warden has been around since before the Nippleman even existed, then damn, he's been around for a very long time. Looks like his right arm. Yep, that's his right arm. Okay, cool. Which I'm, su I'm surprised they haven't done the. Considering 
uh, well, Dante and his brother Retro are uh, not them as well, so further the opposite. Apparently, death should be strive from war. Um, their mother is a demon and their father is an angel. And then, of course, Dante and Virtual is the other way around. Their mother is an angel and their father is a demon. That's why they look more human than they do look demon. Well, the four horsemen look more demonic than they do look human. It's because I think um, I have a hunch that whoever your mother is when you're on this one, you look more like your mother than you do uh, uh, your, your father. But that's just a hunch. I mean, it makes sense in my mind. Considering both Dante and Virgil's mother are is an angel, was an angel, and they look more human. But that, that's just, uh, that's my opinion. Uh, but it was the thing, is I'm surprised they actually haven't got, I haven't, like, done a thing where they had Dante and Virgil meet up with the Four Horsemen. <laughs> uh, that would have been, it would probably be an awkward meeting. Four horsemen, the horsemen, ones responsible for the death of the rest of the Nephilim, run into two more Nephilim. <laughs> Who happen to be fighting each other? Uh. No, from what I understand, and I think it's in the eighth game, Virtual finally learns his lesson uh, that and begins to realize that Dante is right. He finally gets it through his thick skull. <laughs> I'm gonna get uh, finish uh, getting this uh, this uh, dwarf in his limbs during this uh, this video. Here, his left leg. As well as left as her is his left arm. I think uh Dad got a little confused, so uh, jumped the wrong direction. Darn camera angles. There's another stone. Thank you. the last limb is. I said there where all the limbs are. The last one is just up ahead.
Me? You had to be right in front of my face, didn't you? Now this location, we don't actually have to go to until much later. But after we go to the foundry, we get uh, a quest to come to this location, but that's after we go to the foundry. We need to go all the way back to where we found him. And then I'm just gonna go to Scott and uh, fast travel. I know I said I wasn't gonna really do it much, and I'm, I, I stand by my word, I'm not gonna do it much. But I, I didn't feel like uh, riding all the way there. Swim, sucker. Here goes nothing. with this chronicle. And I will speak to the sun when we get a chance. Oh, right now we need to head back over here to go to the last temple to wake up the other one. Yay! Where is it? I'm all the way over there. So let's see. We gotta go to uh, the nuke. So let's pass over to uh, the Weeping Gourd, or oh, Krog, or oh, what? I think it, it makes the, it a better title, The Weeping Gourd. <laughs> I like that name, but whatever. <laughs> 